Hi folks, thanks for tuning into my video cast and I'll be talking about threat protection in Microsoft 365 and what are the different security features and capabilities available. There are so many capabilities available in both Azure and Microsoft 365 and it's been a challenge uh, you know uh, to compare these services and look them all together because some of them are already there just for 365 and there are many threat protection let's say for Windows and Azure conditional access um, and so there are so many features and capabilities available across the services so what I've done is put together um, a diagram or put together a chart where I have um, anything which is revolving around the threat protection like how many different ways uh, Microsoft is providing a threat protection across its uh, Azure and Microsoft 365 so threat protection in Office 365 and Azure, as you can see, threat protection, uh, as I talked about, the Azure AD, Cloud App Security, um, Azure Threat Protection, Office 365 Threat Protection, Exchange Online Protection, Windows ATP, and the Cloud App Security, all that stuff is there. Uh, for this series, I'll be going and try my best to cover all of them. So we'll start with the security capabilities in Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection and most of the cases uh, you will need e5 or you can buy that service uh, by paying additional for this advanced threat protection so we are not going into the licensing we'll just look into the different capabilities available in advanced threat protection in office 365 so now we'll look into the entire malware how to set it up what's there and then how you can have your more policies applied to your tenant by default there is a policy already available if you want you can double click and take a look in the properties in the settings um, and these are the setting by default it says uh, you want to notify the recipient of the message as quarantine and then you can change the settings here but what I want to do is that I'll create a policy and not to touch the default policy and I'll create a new policy here So now we'll click on this plus button to create a new policy here. Uh, make it uh, name it anti mall where policy. So have a default um, notification to the user. In this option I'll keep it enable because and in the future you can also add more file which you think you want to detect for the malware detection and there are some other options whether you want to notify the user internal user I would for external user I would not do it and then also to the administrator I'm at takeisonly.com Undeliverable message for the external, I am not interested in that No customization, I'll just leave as is Apply to all the domains I have No exception, save And that's being said, we have our new entire malware policy, this is Overriding the default one, default one becomes the lowest, and that's the next. That being said, this is how you configure entire malware policy.